So I've just finished a coaching call and one of the topics that came up was community. Now, I wanna really share with you guys why I am so passionate about building community and holding space for healing, new beginnings, overcoming limiting beliefs, whether that be online or in person, because this journey is so deeply meaningful to me. And I genuinely believe it holds such a profound benefit for everyone, for all of us. Now, at the heart of my work is the concept of balance. So I often talk about the yin and yang of life. And just as these beautiful symbols, you know, represent the duality of existence, my personal aim is to create a space where we can embrace both the light and the shadows within us. Because let's be honest, guys, they are both are a part of us, our light and our dark. And it's about supporting one another through our struggles, but also through our triumphs and celebrating them together. So creating a safe and supportive community really allows us to engage in, you know, so many different types of work, release work, letting go of the past, the past hurts, fears, limiting beliefs. Now, this release is so essential for healing and when we heal it's not just about us it's not about our personal journey of course it is but it also has this beautiful ripple effect touching the lives of those that are immediately around us but also contributing to a healthier more compassionate world it literally ripples out and as a mother for me it's so important that our future generations feel the benefit of this ripple so holding space for me means an environment where everyone can feel seen, heard, valued. And this is where trust begins. When we trust each other and we are no longer seeing each other as competition, we can be vulnerable, we can be authentic, which strengthens our bonds and fosters a deeper sense of community. And it's essential, it's an essential part of this healing process. And it involves overcoming those self-sabotaging patterns, that self-judgment. These are internal barriers that we often, you know, put up to prevent us from achieving balance, our self-worth, and our, you know, that confidence that's been taken away from us. By confronting and transforming these negative patterns, we really do pave a way for personal empowerment and our personal growth and we can do that in a supportive within a supportive community we learn to recognize our inherent value build our confidence which helps lead us to a more balanced life for me by teaching others to heal and grow is a core aspect of my mission and by sharing these methods, by sharing these tools for self-care, mindfulness, you know, that emotional release, we empower individuals. I help you to take charge of your own lives and begin your healing journeys. So this empowerment builds resilience and fosters personal growth, which really does, it just enhances a collective well-being within our community. So when we the people, humans come together in this way, we create support, we, can, we create a support network that nurtures growth, nurtures transformation. Each person's progress can inspire and uplift the other by creating this beautiful cycle of positivity and empowerment. So I personally feel it's essential, it's, community is essential and holding space for healing is essential. And it's about creating a sanctuary where we can all learn to grow and support each other. It's about fostering trust, nurturing a sense of belonging that helps us all thrive. So thank you to those who are already a part of my community and this journey. And to all the new people that are wanting to explore, you know, come check it out. We can create a world of healing, growth, shared experiences where our collective strength and compassion can really make a difference in so many people's lives. So we can continue to grow together. We can build community together, support one another, hold space for the beautiful transformational work that really does lie ahead.